Hi all, welcome to this course on production planning and control. Today we'll be learning about heuristic methods. What is heuristic methods of line balancing? It involves drawing a precedence diagram in a particular way which indicates the flexibility available for transferring tasks laterally from one column to another to arrive at the most promising balance. The heuristic approach involves the following procedural steps which is identifying the work, break down the work into elemental tasks or steps. For example, drilling a hole is a step or elemental task. Similarly, let's for example, we consider this, the steps or elemental tasks as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 1 to 9. And based upon that or based upon the time period, we find out the immediate predecessor. Like after 1, 2, 3, we are getting this one. So in the same manner, immediate predecessor before 1 and 2, there is none. But after, before 3, it is 1. Before 4, it is 2. Before 5, it is 3. Before 6, it is 5. Before 7, it is 4. Before 8, it is 6. And before 9, it is 8. And based upon the duration, we are arranging them as the total time which is required for the task to complete. Which is adding 3, 4, 2, 5, 4, 8, 2, 4, 6. We get the total time to be 38 minutes. Hence the total work which is to be done that can be completed in minimum of 38 minutes. Hence when we draw the diagram. As per the predecessor's diagram. We get the items to be 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9 and 2, 4, 7. And each of the time taken or each of the time for the time period is 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 4 minutes, 8, 4 and 6 minutes, 4, 5, 2 minutes. And when we add all of them, we get the 38 minutes, which is our time. Similarly, assume that the maximum time availability at any workstation is 10 minutes. In other words, the cycle time is given as 10 minutes. The total duration of the all tasks is 38 minutes, which we have found out, which means that the minimum number of stations required are 38 by 10, which is equal to 3.8 or 4. The maximum number of stations, which may be equal to as many as the number of steps, that is 9. It will be tried to achieve the balance with four stations. Hence, there are two basic concepts of assigning tasks to stations, which is permittability of tasks. It means that any number of tasks or steps of a column can be combined to make up their total time closer to cycle time, provided the total time do not exceed the cycle time. That is time available at a workstation. Tasks of even different columns can be combined, provided the precedence constant is maintained. Analysis is carried out column by column and one by one and one can move to the next column only after the tasks in the previous column have been assigned to a station or once these tasks are completed then only the next task will be started and second one is the lateral transferability of tasks which means that for making the total time of tasks equal to the cycle time tasks or steps may be shifted laterally providing the precedence relationships which are maintained so using the above two concepts and with the purpose of minimizing the ideal time at a station the figure 2.1 or 4.21 is modified okay, modified diagram which is 4.22 is obtained in which the tasks 1, 2 and 3 have been grouped and they have been grouped task 5 thus occupying the stations B which similarly the tasks 6 and 7, 8 and 9 have been grouped and placed at station C and D respectively. Thus all the 9 steps have been distributed in 4 stations. Each of the 3 stations A, B and T are idle for 1 minute. 10 to 9 whereas station C has no idle time. Hence based upon this we can even find out what is the idle time and what is the task which will be completed in a particular time. Thank you.